Now we'll take a look at basic print settings. Setting up print templates is pretty straightforward. And really all you need to do is select the fields that you need and adjust a few configuration options and you're on your way. So we'll go ahead and do that in our example project. So when we set up the tab interface, we define sections for the user interface. And usually when you're printing, you want to follow the same familiar pattern. So I've gone into the print settings area, and in this case, I'm going to use simple mode. We have another lab which shows how to do some more advanced print formatting, but in this case, we're just going to use the easy options. So you want to give your print template a title. So I call this one project report. And normally you're doing an item printout. You do have the option to print out the entire list um, if you want for comparison, but normally you're using item. Or alternatively, you have an option also for doing calendar printouts. So what you want to do is have a couple of tabs open and you can toggle between your edit view of your form and the print settings. And that's a good way to quickly put together your template. So what I want to do is basically look at those sections and set up my print template from that. So I'm going to go ahead and add section headers based on those sections. So in my project, I have the definition first. So I'll go ahead and set that up. And that'll just put a header there. And I'm just going to dump out these fields that I have. So I have project ID, project, then category. All right, and then the next ones are project description, kickoff date, due date. And then I can just keep working my way through the form. All right, so we need our signature next. And that's followed by spent budget and products. And these are going to be in the order I just added them. You could rearrange that using the drop down index if you needed to, uh, but we're fine with what we have. And then since I'm going to move on to a different section, um, I'm going to put in that next section header. So I have a uh, workflow section and I don't need all of this information. Um, really, I just need uh, these, a few of these fields. So we'll do status and then we'll do these other three fields. So we need workflow for section header, then status. You can see the scroll adjust as I'm adding them. So even though it's out of view, I have a visual confirmation that I've added it correctly. And then I want last workflow, user, date, and now. Okay, those are right in a row, so those are easy to add. And there they are. And then the only section I have left that I want in the printout is the history section. So that's easy enough. I just have a history section and the actual history field. That's it. I've got my fields. I've got my section headers. Now this probably won't be perfect the first time you do it and it's easy to come back here and edit this. So, um, you know, don't try to do all your settings at one time. Do this incrementally and check your results. Now for the header and footer, you can do custom. Um, I went ahead and set up a custom image for the header, and then I put in this custom footer. So you can do things that are specific to your organization. And you can either use the visual editor tool, which is um, where you just type in and do formatting similar to, uh, similar to Microsoft Word, 
or you can actually go into a source code view if you do need to do something a little bit more sophisticated in terms of embedding formatting code. The bottom, you have a couple of theme options. Regular is the default where you can do high contrast. So experiment with those and decide which one looks best uh, for your printout. And then depending on how much content you have, you can adjust the font size. So I've changed it to uh, 10 pixel. Typically you wanna share your template. This means that it'll be available in the dropdown. Um, you would disable that if you just needed this template for your own personal use. And then for the PDF settings, um, depending on the amount of content, you may wanna go into a landscape mode. We'll do that for our printout. And then you have a lot of options for the paper size. Um, so oftentimes this is being output to a PDF. Um, in this case, we'll do uh, letter size, which is gonna be in landscape mode, and that would be a, a normal setting. And again, based on what you find with your results, you can adjust the margins. Typically, you can just leave these at zeros. Place item on separate page. This will make it so that on the printout, if you have a lot of information for one field, it's not gonna split it between pages. So that's generally a good option and you wanna leave that enabled. Then if there were um, attachments, those could come through also, but normally we don't need that option. And then for the email, typically that's coming from the system account to yourself. There are some other options, but that's it for basic print settings. So I just need to click add and that will create my template. And now when I go back to the list view, I'm gonna have this as an option in my print template. So um, I can simply check off the item and I can either go to the items and I can select the uh, print option there, or you can go to the context menu and I can select print from there. So I had already created one template. Um, uh, it gives you a visual confirmation of what you're doing. So you can see we didn't spend a whole lot of time defining our print template, but already we have some attractive output. It looks like it's gonna be close to something that would work. So you can see the section headers and you can go ahead and test this out by clicking on the PDF. Oftentimes the PDF output is gonna give you the best option. The direct print will um, print directly the printer from the browser, but when using the PDF option, you can adjust some formatting options and that works really well. So if I click on that icon, I'm gonna go ahead and get, um, get this saved from within the browser. And there's my printout. So at this point, I can even make further adjustments on the uh, print settings before I print this out. Um, but you can see, depending on the amount of content, it could be a good idea to do the landscape mode.